newly ate him up. Oh, buddy. All right, guys, that was the buck I was looking for right there. That's the non-typical. Two or four does up here above me, about 80 to 90 yards feeding in the white oak. I smoked him. He was 10 yards. He came right in. Let's see what's on the other side. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a shot at that buck from right here. Thank God, we stay alive, thank you, Mr. Deer. Damn. Damn. Hey guys, welcome to Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. I'm Jim Davis. And I'm Dave Bunnell. And we got an exciting youth crossbow hunt for you today. Well, you're not kidding, Jim. We've got three generations hunting together. Let's take a look at this hunt. All right, well, we're going to get Luke back in the blind. Uh, his uh, sh target buck has been shown back up on camera after being absent for a week or two. So pretty frequent every morning and afternoon the past couple of days. So fingers crossed that uh, he's gonna keep on doing that. He'll be in this afternoon, then the next probably an hour or two. And Luke can get a good shot on him and we can put a big one down this year, huh? Yeah. For number two. And this will be the second year in a row that Luke will kill the buck before me. Uh, so <laughs> maybe it's becoming a habit. <laughs> uh, but well, you got anything to say, Luke? Hopefully we can get something. Yep. All right. Tell them. Say, see you in the blind. See you in the blind. All right, everybody. So we're set in the blind. Got everything set up. Uh, we got Papa here. Hopefully the witness <laughs> Luke taking down a big one this evening. Um, so it's starting to drizzle a little bit, but I don't really think it's calling for a lot of rain. But we'll see. Hopefully the blind keeps us dry enough. Uh, fingers crossed that. Uh, we see a couple come through, at least one shooter, huh? Yeah. Got anything to say to everybody at, the, at home watching? Oh, we're hopefully get a big one. Yep. All right. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. Are you a landowner that's ever thought about selling? 
Give me a call today and let me and my team show you why selling an auction is your best choice. With competitive bidding, your property will bring top dollar the day you choose to sell. At Joe R. Powell Auctions, we've seen record numbers of online bidders from all 50 states. Don't limit yourself to just the local market. Auction will give you the best results on your farm or any type of real estate you own. Call 855-JOE-WILL or visit JoeRPowellAuctions.com. RG has a complete selection of new Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides to get you to the hunt. Our experienced team will help you get outdoors on the model that best fits your needs today. The business office can provide you easy payments to fit your budget. RG has a fully stocked accessories to customize your ride. The fully trained service team is here to maintain your Yamaha and keep it in top running condition. RG Motorsports in Bridgeport has been serving our community for 60 years. The fun starts here at RG. State Farm Agent Brad Wild at 304-873-2806 today. Hey, if you'd like to follow along with the Brothers of the Woods Outdoors team throughout the entire year, be sure to check us out on all our social media outlets. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated. spooked him because I was trying to get my phone away from Luke so I could kick the secondary camera on but he ended up coming in and gave us a good shot. The shot was okay. It was a little high. Luke, even last year, he had a tendency of shooting high. I don't know why you put him on a bag target and he's hitting dimes. I don't get it but um, we didn't hear him crash. Like I said, the shot was just a touch high so we're gonna set tight for a few minutes take our time and then walk up and inspect the bolt and see if we can pick up any blood and see what happens. So hopefully it'll be a quick recovery. I would have liked the shot to have been a little bit lower, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so uh, we uh, went up, found the crossbow bolt and uh, had blood on it, which is always a good sign. The, the broadhead was broke off we didn't see it. I don't know if it hit something after it blew through the deer and, and broke off on the end, but uh, we gave it a couple minutes, walked down this fence line. Luke actually found the first blood and we found some more blood right in that area. So we went ahead and just stuck the bolt in the ground there with the light of not glowing. Um, we're just giving it a little bit of time since the shot was a little high. We're hoping he clipped the top of the lung. You know, lots of times with these high shots, Unless you got a downward angle and that exit wound's low, it doesn't seem like you get a whole lot of blood. So, so we're, we're on pins and needles, aren't we, Luke? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because uh, that was definitely the buck we were after. Uh, you know, we thought maybe we had him spooked as soon as he'd come up off this bank. And, but he just came right up in here and stood completely, 100%, perfect broadside for Luke. So, looking right at you. Yeah. yeah. 
like I said, so we're going to just give it a few more minutes and then we're going to go back down, pick up the blood trail and just take our time and see if we get lucky. And hopefully he just ran out this flat. I know they travel this flat a lot and it's pretty clear out through there. So my hope is maybe he just traveled out through there, and maybe, uh, you know, expired. Lay down. And yeah, that's, that's the hope. So hang in there and hopefully we'll have some good news at the end of the day. All right, ready, Luke? Yeah. All right, bud. Yeah, yeah, he's out. <laughs> he's out. Awesome. His one leg, front leg, flipped up over top of his head. Go ahead and put that down, Luke. Get down there. Come on. That pebble will help you kind of get his leg untangled there and not to get him drug up out of here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. No one down this side, buddy. Wait, that's oh, good right there. That's good right there. That's, yep. With what? There you go. That's See, good for now. Oh, you can hear the like his. There you go, Luke. Get a hold of him. Come over here. Ooh, look at that, huh, Luke? Yeah. yeah. You can hear it's, like all his gases. Right yeah, there. it's his air. Yeah. yeah. Now his lung. <laughs> Angle his head down some more, and that way. All right, everybody, Luke got it done again this year. Uh, he didn't want to kill a real small buck. He wanted a nicer one. So we had this nine start showing up and he was absent for a couple weeks. And then he showed up yesterday and the day before yesterday. And it's been cool. And what I tell you, Luke, what I tell you, he'd show up tonight, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. And he did. So tell us a little bit about the hunt, Luke. How'd it go? It went well, actually. It went, it went a couple hours and we got, we, this guy showed up and right as he got in there, he gave us a perfect angle straight away and I went for it. Yep, you made a pretty decent shot on him. We thought it was going to be a little high, but uh, he didn't go very far, maybe 80 yards around. 70, the, 80 yeah. yards maybe at the moment. And uh, old Papa here was <laughs> blood trailing him and actually saw him uh, over the bank there. So when we saw him, of course, there's no better feeling when you actually see him laying there, especially yeah. when the blood is very sparse. Yes. But we're very happy. Luke, are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> yep. So we appreciate everybody watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Man, Dave, what an exciting hunt. There was three generations in that blind and I couldn't tell which one was more exciting. No, Jim, there was a lot of high fives going on. It was truly special. Hey, up next, we're gonna to head to Mingo County with pro staffer Chris Stacy, and he's gonna kill a great big buck, Jim. But up next is this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip, we're gonna to head to the field with pro staff member Gary Shepard, and he's gonna give you a quick tip on how to reduce being detected in your tree stand. Okay, well I got a little quick tip for you this morning. Anytime I hang a tree stand nowadays, I'll hang a piece of this camo netting or camo, whatever you got, right there beside of where I'm gonna be standing. I wanna hang it out where it won't get caught on anything. It'll hang and it can blow in the breeze and the wind and move all the time. It's up there all day long, every day moving, every time there's a breeze. Those deer will get so used to that movement and they won't pay a bit of attention to you when you're up there. You won't have any, you know, near as much problem getting your bow down or getting drawn or whatever you need to do, any movement that you need. You know, I've had them just glance up there at me, catch me moving and not even give it a second thought. And it's so simple and easy to do. And uh, I've had great luck with it. So you might give it a try. And that's your tip of the week. Now I'm Eli Gain and that is your Joe R. Powell Auction Services Tip of the Week. Hope Gas proudly provides service to more than 112,000 customers in 35 West Virginia counties. We currently employ over 400 employees right here in our beautiful mountain state. Our team is not only dedicated to providing quality service, but also to improving the communities in which we work. Please visit our website, hopegas.com, for more information, or call our customer service department at 1-800-688-4673. Do you want to grow bigger bucks and have a healthier deer herd? Hi, I'm Don Kaiser, owner of Grandpa's Special Mix 
high protein deer feed. After several years of field testing, we have developed a feed that is high in protein, minerals, and vitamins. You can check our products out on www.grandpa'smix.com or on Facebook at Grandpa's Special Mix Feed. If you're serious about growing big bucks, you need to give Grandpa's Special Mix a try. Hey guys, I'm Dylan with Johnson's Wildlife Taxidermy Studio. We're located in Grafton, West Virginia. I'd appreciate it if you would consider us for all your taxidermy needs. Safe hunting and God bless. Hello, this is Tim Bell from Tri-County Worship Center. The verse for today is found in the book of Matthew chapter 25 and verse 6. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go you out to meet him. And one of these days, soon and very soon, that cry is going to be made. Here he comes, and we need to be ready. We need to ask Jesus into our heart. Don't let your lamp go out. Get oil in your lamp and keep it burning, because Jesus is coming. Closed captioning is brought to you by RDR Ready Mix Concrete. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated. All right, guys, here we are. Beautiful October day. It's rained about all day. Uh, I'm going after a buck that my good buddy David the man's name go have. He's been daylighting just about every evening. He came in yesterday evening at 5.30. I'm running a little bit late. But it's only about 3.30. So I'm going to get in here, get tucked in. Hopefully today is the day. We pray that God brings us deer in for us. So y'all stay tuned here on Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Let's see if we can get this done today.
When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. Are you a landowner that's ever thought about selling? Give me a call today and let me and my team show you why selling at auction is your best choice. With competitive bidding, your property will bring top dollar the day you choose to sell. At Joe R. Powell Auctions, we've seen record numbers of online bidders from all 50 states. Don't limit yourself to just the local market. Auction will give you the best results on your farm or any type of real estate you own. Call 855-JOE-WILL or visit JoeRPowellAuctions.com. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Call State Farm agent Brad Wild at 304-873-2806 today. The West Virginia Bow Hunters Association has been protecting and promoting the sport of bow hunting for 45 years. We offer members representation at DNR meetings, monitor legislation that can impact sportsmen and support programs such as Hunters Helping the Hungry and Archery in the Schools. We provide bow hunter education for all experience levels, introduce thousands of youth to archery every year, and host an annual awards banquet with special speakers, valuable prizes, and a live auction. Please visit our website and join us in our efforts to promote bow hunting in West Virginia. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated and these fine sponsors.
This is the end story to old habit. We thank God for this day of life. We thank you for this deer. We thank you for all these blessings, man. Man, what a hunt this evening. I think I ended up seeing seven or eight deer. I had a big shooter nine come in, big mass, just a tight rack, big massive deer. But uh, he come down and started rubbing a tree. Well, when he rubbed that tree, I heard one kindly snort wheeze, and I looked around the hill and here come, here come old habit. And uh, man, did he put on a show, man. He, he run that other little buck off, well he went little, he was, he was nice. He run him off, and uh, he come up there and showing his dominance. Walks up, and I get him on film walking all the way up. And he walks up in front of the camera, and the rest is history. Man, he put me through it, dragging this thing. He went back here in a big thicket. I heard him crash, but he went back here in a big thicket, and I had to work my way through him. No way to get the camera down to him, but. We thank God for every day he gives us to hunt these magnificent creatures. And we thank you for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. Man, Dave, that was a great hunt. A Mingo County buck named Habit is no longer. That's right, Jim. That was a great buck. Hey, up next week, we got two exciting youth hunts lined up for you. First, we're going to head to North Carolina. Oh, I'm going to take out my little buddy Davis, and he's going to get his second buck ever, Jim. Then we're going to come back and go out with junior pro staff member, Kimber Stacy, and she's on a great bow hunt, and she's gonna take a nice buck. And in the meantime, be sure to follow along with us on our Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube and our Carbon TV channels, and you can watch our hunts anytime. And as always, thank you for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. <laughs>